think for the most part, we've been surviving. You know, um, this depression brought a lot of people together. You know. You think it brought people together? I think, you know, because a lot of people are more in the same situation than you got the high class, the middle class, the low class. You got more people in the same situation. You got rich people that ain't got to die. Okay, <laughs> did, okay, did it bring people together? No. Did it bring people together or did it level the playing field somewhat okay, for buying that. power? I go with that. For job uh, 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 equality, if you will. And the reason I say that I is because that. everybody can get a flat screen now. Right. Electronics. You know? Everybody can sit up here and, and, and what they do is now, it used to be all about this great resume. It's not about your resume anymore. It's at the, what's at the bottom of the resume. Your skills. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Okay? So they want to see because every job has its own uh, format, if you will, and philosophy and plan. And if you can adapt. And that's why I go back to Crystal. Good point. There was a time when we did hunt. Same thing with fitness, too. That's why most people are obese. And obese is no one killer. We're not doing anything. Fast foods and all these foods prepared the wrong way. But the whole thing is we used to have to learn how to adapt adapt, and, and we taught our children on love how to hunt, how to survive, how to, to, to make fires. Okay, so basically we don't do that anymore. Another thing that's very sad, well, I was a Boy Scout. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, the altar boy. Pedophiles. Oh gosh. Disgusting. Kids can't go and do the activities you used to do because the kids are getting touched. Sandusky just went to jail. He's touching football players, leading kids. Penn State knew it. You knew it, Penn State. Come on. It's sad you have to think like that, though. It's very sad. It's very, very sad. Sometimes money outweighs personal things. Though. Well, very much so. that's what happened. Very much so. That's what happened. Now, let's talk about some lifestyles. Uh -oh. Stephanie, last time you and I talked, <clears throat> you no, know, you said that you, you know, people that may be gay and they may, you know. You've, you've, you may have been approached by a woman and you, you don't play that game and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Now I want you to jump in. Crystal. What's your lifestyle, Crystal? Of course you got a daughter, so we know that you've interacted with the man. Yeah, Crystal, good job. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> but, um, tell us about your lifestyle, Crystal. As in, uh, has I mean you're both attractive. I, you know, I mean I was in the modeling game. Men tried to hit on me, not so it didn't happen. Hey, well it doesn't happen to everybody. Yeah, I'm does. talking to Crystal. Oh. Crystal. Well, lifestyle. Uh, my best friend is gay. I've known her for several years, so I've been in different areas going to clubs and things like that. I've had a lot of females hit on me, a lot of married couples hit on me because their wife is bi curious. So, so they wanted I, you to join? Yeah. Join what? <laughs> their uh, extracurricular activity. Detail. Let's go in. <laughs> let's go in. They wanted me to um, participate in menage a and things with them. They wanted you to, did you? No. Oh. Um, however, how did they break it down? Tell us the conversation. What did, we want you to wear some tutus. <laughs> hey, we want you to be a cop. Uh, me. Hey, how you walk up to somebody and ask for that? Um, I don't want to put anybody out there. Um, I've had you don't say any names. Couples that I know that have done it. like, um, And I've had people approach me when I've been at these certain clubs. And I've, like, I mean, the conversation. Oh, gay clubs. Richmond, Baltimore, D.C. Um, 
the conversation is just like a regular conversation. You know, uh, being that it's a gay club and it's more females, the female usually comes first. Hi, how are you doing? Everything. You know, we want to dance and stuff like that. I don't mind dancing. I'll dance. And then, you know. So the female will come and ask you to dance? Mm-hmm. And, then, and then the guy will, like, be in the background. And then she'll introduce me to him. So it's a, there's a, there's a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a, premeditated. Yeah, it's, it's premeditated. It's a game, like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Keep going. Let's, let's. But I've had some people just be straight up blunt. Like, um, yeah, my girl, you know, my wife, we want you. You come back with us. And, and I'm looking like, uh, no, but I've had that happen, too. Yeah, me and my girl, we want you. You coming? Are you, are you coming? You coming? But no. So, I mean, it is what it is. But as in with being with girls, since you want to ask that, I have been with girls before. Yes, I mean. Um. <clears throat> okay, how was that? <laughs> how was that? I can um, tell you. She could tell you. It was very interesting. I, I, I can say that females do know what females want. You guys had that discussion the last time. Mm-hmm. I took and told them. I took and told them. Because... Yeah. We have the same body parts. We know that feeling. Now, men can understand a feeling when they get in a, a, a reaction from a female, but they don't feel it. But when another female does it, she knows that <clears throat> feeling, so she knows what to do to make it. Okay, I'm going to disagree. You know why? This, this right here. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm a science biology major. I know the anatomy. We did dissected cadavers. We studied reproductive organs and all these different things. (laughs) So, and you know, I've experienced. I've experienced a lot of sex. My book, A Man's Sex Drive. I talk about my 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 journey and everything. You know, Uh, I'm not really big on oral sex unless it's. I like you, and it's the hygiene thing. So, uh, the anatomy of the female body is different. You have larger nipples, smaller breasts. Uh, the the vagina is is different. You know, it's maybe this and maybe that. Yeah. Um. So, y- you may be, she may be. More sensitive around the the inner crust of the thighs. Come on, you a biologist? Right? The words? No, <laughs> oh, the orifice, clitoris. I got you. <clears throat> so anyway, the canal. So the whole thing is this: it may be a different sensory to each each woman. So by you saying that you know each other, everything's a learning process. You're just going on there, and, you know. You don't just do that. You just you got to sit up here and and like learn. And, and, and that's the century of that individual. Some people may have, like, I'm not ticklish. <laughs> yeah, I'm sensitive. My body is sensitive, but it is not ticklish. So, define that. But that is the whole thing, you know, just like with the, 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 the male anatomy. Okay, you know, I already had it in my book, my body parts. Okay, yes, I am sensitive, you know, not in my shaft. Okay, but the head of my like organ. Okay, all right. I'm sensitive. I love it too. Okay. Like most yeah. males. No, they are not. <laughs> they're not. They're, they're not. not. Hmm. I, 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 but why do you know why, that? But, but, but why yeah, do you know that? Yeah. Because you're a male. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> because of my experiences with different cultures and different females sexually. <laughs> listen. Okay. And women describe. Oh. Women, women, they, they, they break that down. They, they really do. They, they break doing. it down. When, no, they knew what they, they knew what no, they were doing. They didn't. All right. Now, this is the whole thing. 